Island limitations have been a part of Animal Crossing since the very start, and despite the fact that New Horizons allows us to do all kinds of crazy things that we could never do in past games like Terraform and such, there are still plenty of island limitations that players wish they could get around. Considering that Animal Crossing New Horizons is all about freedom and doing what you want with your own space, it definitely feels like there are more limitations which we should be able to surpass. Nintendo has even cheekily shown off them surpassing some of the island limitations, something that we aren't able to do in our own game naturally. You can see here in these screenshots Nintendo allowing trees to be really close to the river, something which you aren't usually able to do. They also show off trees directly planted next to each other, which is something that I feel like a lot of players wish they could do, but sadly is something that we can't. However, thanks to a certain exploit in the game, there is a way to surpass one of these island limitations that you'll definitely want to learn about. This trick, or glitch, or exploit, whatever you want to call it, basically allows you to plant trees right on the edges of cliffs, and it's incredibly simple to do. Literally anyone can do it in their own game. Using this trick will definitely allow you to be much more creative with your own islands, and it unlocks a certain possibility which we just didn't have before. So let me show you the simplest way of doing this. To start off, you're going to want to terraform a section of 9 tiles, which you can see me doing here in my own game. After that, in one of the corners, you're going to want to cut out a piece, so simply take away one of the blocks that you created. After that, you're going to want to create a little water pattern like you can see me doing here, basically curved around the block that you just took away. As far as I understand, this does have to be in one of the corners, so you couldn't do it in the middle. After that, you can head onto the top of the cliff and then plant the tree of your choice. This could of course be a cedar tree, a fruit tree, whatever you like. From my understanding, the little section of water that you just created with the inlet basically allows you to plant this tree in a space that usually you wouldn't be able to get away with. Animal Crossing New Horizons basically seems to have a lot of check marks of where you're able to plant trees and not, so this little exploit basically allows you to get around that. After your tree is actually planted, what you want to do is start to round the edges of the cliff that remain, and then use your terraforming shovel to dig in the piece of land which is still square. This will basically collapse in both of these tiles, meaning that the tree is right up against the edge now. You can basically do this all the way around to leave your tree on one single platform, something that normally without this trick you'd never be able to see happen. Just quickly before we continue, I want to mention that YouTube has enabled a new feature known as Super Thanks. It's basically a button that you can click at the bottom of my videos to send in a special thanks if you really enjoy the content and want to support me in an extra way. You could also become a channel member by clicking the join button down below my videos or the link in the description to get a whole bunch of cool perks. No pressure to do either though, I just thought I'd mention and I really appreciate everyone watching this content. Of course, with the right amount of terraforming design and doing this in your own ways, you can just make it so that the trees are right on the edges of cliffs rather than just having them on a singular tile. But this little tutorial basically sums up the easiest way to get trees onto their own platform. A fellow content creator over on Instagram known as Nadin Far Crossing has actually made their own tutorial video on how they terraform with the tree glitch, and I definitely recommend checking these out. They have a whole ton of really great designs involving the tree glitch, so they could give you some inspiration on how to do it. It's honestly really cool using this glitch to get trees in places that you normally couldn't in Animal Crossing New Horizons. I really love seeing what people can do with the glitches and exploits in the game. And I do think it's a shame that for a game like New Horizons that has so much potential, they do limit a lot of things that you can do. Surprisingly, after all of this time, this is one of those glitches that Nintendo hasn't patched, and I believe that's just because it would be far too difficult for them to actually look into. I definitely think they know about this one because they've patched some of the other glitches in the game, but this one has remained solid for such a long time. To be honest, it's entirely possible that they've actually used this glitch themselves in some footage for the game. As I did mention at the start, we have seen them plant trees in places that are very odd and we just can't usually do ourselves. However, Nintendo did actually patch out one really popular tree glitch which basically allowed you to plant trees on the pathways around your island. This one was definitely really cool but super short-lived as it only got patched out maybe weeks after players discovered that they could even use it. Thankfully, this tree cliff glitch is still going strong, and it's hopefully something that will remain in Animal Crossing New Horizons for the rest of time, as I just can't imagine Nintendo patching it out at this point. 
But let me know in the comments section down below, what other island limitations would you like to be able to surpass in the game? And are you going to try this tree glitch for yourself on your own island? If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a like. And if you want more Animal Crossing New Horizons content, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more. Also, if you made it to the end, be sure to comment Bob's Gang down below so I know that you did. I want to give a big thanks to these channel members for their continued support of me and what I do here on this channel. If you want to become a channel member, click the join button down below the video or the link in the description to learn more. You can get a whole bunch of cool perks like exclusive emojis, a badge by your name, access to our members only discord and our members only podcast too.